Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Manshed. Right, I'm re-recording this little bit of the intro because I forgot to mention that I'm not putting a timeline as I usually do below. As you'll have seen from the thumbnail, this is a video about Lidl's three-year return policy and how good it is claiming uh, under warranty when it's approaching that three years. Now, if, you, if your appliance that you bought from the middle of Lidl, either Parkside or Silvercrest or whatever, nearly everything comes with a three-year warranty. If it goes wrong under the 12 months, you can take it back to the store and get your money back. Show your receipt, get your money back. If it's between 12 months and three years, you have to go through the returns policy in the book. Contact them by email or ring them up. The numbers are all in the books that come with it or online. And, uh, and and you do it that way. So this is a walkthrough from beginning to end of that. So I've not done a timeline itemising everything because it is just one continuing thing. If you want to skip to the conclusion, by all means do that right at the very end. But uh, that's all I wanted to squeeze in in this bit. And to add that it is, again, a long video. There's probably more waffling, as there always is about videos, than usual. But I was keen to show you every single contact i'd have i'd had from the very first email i sent out to them asking how to proceed until the very last message from ups on the delivery and show you how good and bad certain things are and i'll sum it all up at the end so uh, we'll get straight into it now and also i thought because it's about littles i'll wear me my little shirt that i bought the other week so uh, right that's the altered intro let's get on with it now I was walking through Lidl's the other week, as I do every Thursday when I do my shop, and I came across two items, a little vacuum cleaner and this shaver. Now, the vacuum cleaner, I've done a full review on that. It's a great little thing, handy for cleaning your keyboard and your desktop and stuff. Click the little card up here for a full review of that. And the shaver. Now... I've just done a review of this shaver and I'm uploading the, both this video and that review together and publishing them at exactly the same time because they both refer to each other and I'll be putting links at various places to each other. It's not a part one and a part two. They're about two totally different things, but they are linked in a way. So if, the, if you're watching this, that other one will be available. Full review on this so i'll put a card at the end a card up here and a, a link in the description but the reason i bought this was that i already had the previous version that's the old version that's this new version now i had this one and i was convinced in my head that it i'd had it over three years and just recently it's it's started going wrong. It still runs off the mains, but it doesn't, even when it's fully charged, it doesn't run off the battery. And it does all sorts of things. You shake it and, well, it's not doing it now, but sometimes you shake it and the, the little lights come on here. So it's faulty. Even though it is usable just off the mains, you can't use it to, as a portable battery one. And like I said, I had it in my head that it was over three years old, but I thought, well, let's have a look when i get home how old it is and i tried to dig out the receipt and i'm pretty good normally with receipts here's me receipts well, as you can see i've got this is just for the ones where i bought a tool a gadget or a tool and as you know all of Lidl's stuff their silver crest range which is like their hair dryers microwaves toothbrushes things like that are silver crest all their tools little tools are parkside and they all come with a three-year warranty now i'd used this three-year warranty just once before when a drill i had was about two years ten months old and that's about six years ago so i was wondering what their claims policy is like now and procedure when i did that i did it on the phone i rang them up they answered pretty quickly. They sorted it. They sent me a new one, just said, keep your old one. Even though the old one was working, it was coming apart, the plastic at the back. But it was still physically working. 
and it's still working to this day six years on i still use it but i've also got the new one they sent me as well so i was curious to uh about sending the uh this yeah this old one back yeah, you can see it now they've come on when you shake it so i looked through my receipts and i just could not find it it's not like me at all. I usually keep all the books and the receipts through all the gadgets and gizmos in a drawer, and I searched high and low, and I didn't have it. But what you can do is, if you use the Liddles app, and again, I've done a link up here, click the little card up here for a full review of the Liddles app. I think it's pretty good. It gives you rewards a free item from the bakery when you reach 50 quid things like that various offers and various free gifts on the scratch card and stuff i think it's quite a good app and when you scan it at, at checkout it stores all your receipts as a digital copy so i thought right i'll look back on that now I wasn't sure how far back they go but i'll show you now did a screen recording of it and you'll see in here exactly how far back they go and you'll see me locating the actual one pertaining to this shaver. So let's have a look at that now. Okay, so here we are on my home screen. Click on little plus at the top. And I just want to show you how far the digital receipts go back. This is news to me. I'm just clicking this to record it for you. Uh, I've got a super spin. This just shows you what the app can do. Look up on me past YouTube uh, videos. I thoroughly go into how good Lidl's app is. So if I click on that now, nothing to do with this video, but spin the wheel, see what we get. It's usually a cake or a, a juice or something. Right, I've got a free item an in store bakery, pan au chocolate, or or whatever that is, or an um, ultimate chocolate brownie. I'll activate that, because that's totally free next time I go in. Anyway, nothing to do with this video, but uh, that's the sort of thing you get on the app. So if we click down here, if you look at the very bottom right, more, click on them three dots, more, and second one down, the digital receipts, click on that now this gives you all the receipts for everything you've bought if you've scanned the app during your purchase to get all the free gifts like i say look back at the other videos for uh, how good that is if you've done that which i obviously do every time it saves your receipt for that date now normally as i mentioned before i will keep the paper receipts for any gizmos and i have a big envelope full of them for drills and tools and stuff like that as i mentioned for some reason i have lost the one for this shaver so i had to go right back so i wondered how far back it'll go and you can see the top one there was from the 15th of august 2024 this week just three days ago now if we go down i'll scroll down as far as i can possibly go i'm not sure whether it has a sort of like a time limit of the things how far back it will go or when it will go back from the very first time you ever used it i don't know but as far as i can go back is september 2020 now that may very well be the time that little brought their app out four years ago i don't know or the first time i ever used it i don't know but uh, as you can see it goes back right down to i can access things i bought on the 10th of september 2020 uh, nearly four years ago now from previous searches i have got i know when i bought this shaver and it was the 16th of september 2021 so we'll go to that receipt now there we are, 2021 Bear with me, I'll find it. 
this is just what you'd be doing if you were searching yourself so 16th of September yeah I bought 17 products on that day spent 50 quid if we click on there there we are sure enough there we are second item down rotary shaver 0353671 don't know what that number is is that to do with the transaction is that the code for the shaver I don't know but there it was £17.99p the, the very latest version of this three years later is still £17.99 but they they are I can prove I bought this shaver on the 16th of September 2021 so uh, yeah great so that's that so as you saw there, right the way back to September 2020, it's now August 2024, so nearly four years worth of receipts stored on the app, which is great. So so whether that date, I think it's 10th of September, was it? Whether that's the date the app first came out, I don't know, I can't remember when it came out, but that's as far back as they go, so whether it's a time limit or that's when the app came out, I don't know. But as you saw, I managed to find the one for this shaver. So I thought, well, sod it. It's only like 18 quid. But it's the principle of the thing. It has gone wrong. Gone wrong. It is under three years, just by a month, two years, 11 months old. I'll return it to, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go through the returns procedure and, and see what it's like. So I got in touch with... Liddles, and like I said, the first time with the drill, I did it on the phone. This time, I did it all online on on email. Didn't actually physically have to talk to anybody. So I've gone through it and I've documented, and I'm going to show you each email and the time and date that I sent them, and I got the reply. So in the bottom right hand corner of all these screens, you're going to see now. I've done a talk over. You will see the date and the time, and you'll see how it progressed and how quick they were to respond or how slow they were to respond, what information they need, the information I sent them, the conclusion at the end and, and, and all sorts. So we'll get into that now. Now I've tried to sort of like crop the emails down and stretch them to fit the page so you can read the text. One of them a reply, I just sent one line as a reply. So it's quite hard, I've had to stretch that, so the font might look a bit uh, funny on that. But let's have a look now from day one until we're up to the stage we're up to now. So this was the first email I sent, the very first email. Hi, I'll read uh, most of it. Hi, I bought a Silvercrest Rotary Shaver on the 16th of September 2021, so it's under its three-year warranty. It will now not charge, it runs off the mains, but uh, won't run on the battery. Blah, 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 blah. I have tested the charger, tried it on another charger, so it's definitely not the charger. I've put all the details below from my digital receipts in the little app. Can you tell me what the warranty procedure is? And as you can see, bottom right hand corner, I sent that on Tuesday, August the 13th, 2024, this year at 10.52 a.m. So exactly one minute later, as you see there, bottom right, 10.53, same date, I get this automated reply. Dear little customer, read your contact. Thanks for getting in touch. Read the FAQs or whatever, but uh, we'll be in touch. So, uh, yeah, I don't mind getting automated replies like that, instant ones, because at least it shows you your email has got through and they said they will uh, be in touch personally soon. So the very next day, I get this from a real person, Norma. Um, basically, it's that you might find it a bit hard to read this because I put the full page on, but it just says, thanks for getting in touch, we'd love to help, I'm sorry to hear, blah, 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 blah. And it says, please include the IAN number, or the barcode, uh, the original receipt, shop you bought it in, uh, part number and that, and your postal address and everything, and snap a few clear photos of the product and if there's any damage, don't be shy. Show that as well. Looking forward to hearing of you. So, uh, yeah, I quite like that to uh, touch show the damage as well. But obviously there is no physical damage. It's just a fault with the, the charging. So that's uh, 8.28 a.m. 
So a couple of hours later, I sent her this reply. Thanks for the quick reply. Hi, Norman. Thanks for the quick reply. Unfortunately, I can't find the original manual or receipt, which is unusual for me as I usually keep them. I've enclosed a picture of my phone screen showing the digital receipt, which shows the shaver and the number and the date, everything. It shows the store, the date and the time. Also pictures of the shaver itself. As mentioned, there is no physical damage. It's just that it won't run on battery even after a full charge. Regards. So uh, I sent her that back two hours after her email. And these are the pictures I sent her. The, uh, yeah, as you can see there, it gives the store number at the top, right at the but very bottom where it says customer copy. It shows you the date, 16th of September 21. I bought it at 21 minutes past one in the afternoon. The shaver is there, second from the top, 17 99 and I sent her two pictures uh, of the shaver itself. Like I say, it's it's pointless really sending these, but she'll just have to ask for uh, these things. But at least that shows the uh, the actual uh, when it was manufactured and and so on the the numbers that she's asked for. So I sent that to Norma and the pictures as requested in the morning, about ten o'clock in the morning, and then the same day at tea time, five o'clock, I get this from this time from Ash, saying we need some more de details to process it do you have the receipt if yes send us a copy the store you bought the item in your full name full address looking forward to getting you back up and running so uh yeah i'd already sent uh normal all of them i did forget to send me address but i explained that i didn't have the paper receipt and showed her the uh, one so i sent this back to uh to ash but yeah, just basically I re replied. This was just uh, 11 minutes after his email. I replied to the email from Norman this morning, showing a pic of the receipt and the, in the digital section of the app. This also shows the purchase date and the store. So really didn't need to uh, ask for them. It should have read the original email. Uh, I've included pictures of the uh, shaver itself. The only thing I did forget, which is fair enough, my mistake, was me name and address. So... Uh, I've cut it off on this picture, but I did uh, include my full address. So that was my reply to uh, Ash. The following day, we're now Thursday, the 15th of August, at uh, one in the afternoon, I get this back from another person, Shannon, this time. Um, basically, it just says, we have passed it on to our service partner. The next step is they will contact you regarding your warranty. You should hear from them within 10 working days if you don't just reach out to tell us so uh at this stage i'm just waiting for the actual uh service partner or the manufacturer or whoever it is the importers to get in touch so we'll pause it there as you saw my first contact was to that address there email hoyer at liddles.co.uk that's for the uh, shaver the new shaver i've got the contact details for the Parkside tools, that's one of the Parkside tools I got, is different. And so that is email companas at Lidl's. Now it's companas who get in touch with me next. They're the sort of main agents. So it's funny, there's like a, the first contact is this Hoyer and not straight to companas. And as you saw there, I've had, well, they had the automated reply first, which is fair enough. It was one minute later. At least it shows you your email has gone through. You're not just wondering whether it actually got sent or not. So they've received it. They've acknowledged that. Uh, then the next day, the contact was Norma first. Then there was Ash. And now there's Shannon. So there's three different people on the case. But they've referred me now to Comp Master, the main sort of German agent or whatever and they will be getting in touch maybe up to 10 days or so uh, according to uh, that last one from shannon so let's actually see now how quick they did reply if you remember that last one from shannon was at um where are we central was at 1 16 p.m on thursday so uh, let's see how quick if it's any quicker than 10 days before I hear from uh, their main agents. So, as you can see, the reply I got back from the agents uh, was one hour, 13 minutes later. 
one hour 11 but yeah just an hour later nothing like the 10 days they said i might have to uh, wait so that's really good it just says uh, dear mr ross thank you blah 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 Give us the following info, the name, the postal address, the telephone number, the part, description, and the fault. The purchase receipt, this is in bold, so I've only got the digital one. And if we need to send you a UPS prepaid return label, are you able to print it on your printer? So at this stage, I'm thinking, right, I've got to send the old one back. Um, I replied, yes, as you'll see uh, soon, I, I can print it on my printer. Upon receipt of all this, I'll send us, you know, a video of the fault. When we get all this, uh, we'll, we'll uh, take it forward. So that is signed Robert Shirley, Tech Support UK. And uh, the company, the email or whatever is Compamass. I've looked at Compamass's site and it's uh, it seems to be a portal for all the Silvercrest Parkside or Lidl's appliances spare parts so uh, obviously that's who, who are handling the claim at this stage so this was my reply um, it was quite a while before it was uh, half 11 at night before I noticed I'd had a, a reply from them so yeah they were way quicker than me uh, I've put I've already given all this info to Lidl but here goes my name blah 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 postal address blah 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 phone number uh, fault description, purchase receipt, I've, I enclose the, uh, as you'll see in the video, the, the digital version, the serial number and that. They requested a video, but you could only send a very, very, very small video file. I recorded this in as low resolution as I could on my, cat, on my uh, Canon camera, but I had to send it through uh, whatever the Google link or whatever, so... Anyway, they still got it. So this is the actual video I sent them. I just put it together in, in Premiere and uh, tried to keep, keep it as compact as possible. But uh, this is the sort of thing they want if you are in the same situation. OK, it's using the included charger. And it's plugged in. And it's flashing red showing it's charging. OK, as you can see, the charge light has gone out and the blue fully charged light is showing I've got it still plugged in at the mains if I turn it on it works but if I unplug the mains lead nothing it sort of flashes there when you press it but there's no power at all. Oh, it did a quick then, yeah, and then but nothing. Even when you shake it, then lights come on. And as you can see, the rest of it is in good condition. It's been well looked after. Right, here's the uh, serial number, the IAN number as requested and everything off the back of the shaver so hopefully that will suffice and here is the receipt uh, I've lost the original receipt but here is my digital copy you can clearly see there it was bought at the Cleveland's branch uh, on the 16th of the 9th 21 so it's under its three-year warranty at, uh, I bought it at 21 minutes past one in the afternoon Hopefully that should be everything you need. So, uh, I sent the video and uh, as you can see, the very next day at two minutes to noon, I received this back from them saying, Dear Mr Ross, thank you for providing us with the required information and order for, the, for a replacement rotary shaver will shortly be processed. Once a package leaves our facility, you will be sent an email containing a UPS tracking link. After receiving your replacement unit and confirming it is functioning as intended, you may dispose of the original faulty product. So that's great. Don't have to send the old one back. Should you have any further inquiries, blah, 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 please contact us. Dorotea Pisarova. And again, the uh, support at Compromass, Germany.
So that's the stage we're up to at the moment. So as you can see, yeah, it's gone pretty well from making first contact on the Tuesday. It was just to the Friday before the said, right, we're going to send you a, a replacement unit. So just sort of four, four days. And during that four days, you know, that I got replies really quick. Like I say, from little UK passing it to the German Germany and getting them getting in touch with me, one hour, which is not the 10 days, one hour it was, which is really, really good. So that's the sort of thing you'll need to do. You'll need to send them a video and everything. Just to, They need this just to prove that it is faulty, which is fair enough. And as you saw in there, they asked, will I be able to print a return label to send the old one back? Again, I think they're just probably testing me on that, saying, oh, yes, I can, I can do that. Because they've actually said, you don't need to send the old one back. Being a low-value thing like this, $17.99, it'd cost them more in, in postage and looking at it or whatever. It's only going to get binned. I dare say for like a, a dear item like the air conditioning unit behind me or whatever, if you did have to send something heavy like that back or do a courier, yeah, they would want that back. But when this replacement comes, I won't have to uh, return the old one, which will be good. I'll just bin it then because it is of no use. So, uh, yeah, that's the stage we're up to now. As of recording this bit, it's uh, Monday at quarter to seven at night i'll be off to my pub quiz soon so that's as much as i can record for now i haven't had the email yet saying it's on its way on uh, ups tracking details but i'll keep you informed so we'll pause it there and the next bit you'll see is when i've received it and uh, whether it'll be i'm Im imagining it'll be probably that the current model that they're selling so i'll end up with two of them so i'll have to i don't know give one away as a present to me my grandson or something like that so next bit you'll see is uh when it has arrived right and it is now the following week i just left you at friday the 16th of august it's now wednesday the 28th of august the new one arrived yesterday have a guess which one they sent me was it another one like this the old one you can see it's faulty again coming on i'm not working was it that style or was it the brand new one that i recently reviewed so uh, you'll see very very shortly but have a quick guess now no cheating not going to the end see uh, which one you think they sent me right so like i say it came yesterday but before i show it yet i just want to carry on the timeline from we left it with me waiting for the German agent, Compamass or whatever they're called, to inform me uh, that it had been sent, uh, if you remember it, where we just left it. So we'll pick up straight from there with the following letter they sent, and then the, the timeline of it coming to the UK and UPS delivering it. Uh, spoiler alert, the U of UPS um, probably stands for useless, but uh, I'll explain that when we get to it. So we just left it with me waiting for the next contact from uh, Companas. Uh, that was Friday. On Tuesday, you see the date at the bottom, August the 20th at 11.24pm, uh, this letter arrived saying it has now left our shipping station. Use this link to get an overview of the delivery, blah, 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 and a tracking link. So when you click on that tra traffic link, you see this. So this from UPS, uh, it's now due, it's going to be delivered Friday, August the 23rd by the end of the day. And you can see the, the, the time scale and, uh, on its, uh, where it took, going from the top down this time. We have your parcel in their Germany depot and so on. So I waited in all day on Friday, put a note on the door saying it was round the back and so on. Uh, but it didn't uh, come. So at the end of the day, I went on the new, the uh, click the same thing, the updated one. And as you can see there, it says, on the way, Preston, United Kingdom, on the way, the 24th, 4.15. But uh, it's now going to be delivered on Tuesday, August the 27th, by the end of the day. 
So if you click on, on that previous screen, if you click on more details, you'll get the fully itemized uh, thing. And if we if we go through it from the bottom, it's going from the bottom upwards in time scale. The company, uh, Little's Weather, created the label on the 20th, 20th of August at, at noon. And it was it arrived at their facility, UPS's facility in Germany, same day at um, seven o'clock so they've took it round to uh, posted it from germany and took it to the ups facility on the 20th it's then three days later that it departs the ups it takes them like three days to process it you take your parcel round you think it'd go okay it was it was half seven at night you think it'd go the following morning no it's three days look the 23rd and then as you go up it departs from their UPS facility in Germany. Um, it was cleared after the scheduled departure time, so it was delayed a bit at customs. But even so, we're still on the 23rd now, and it left customs in Germany on the 23rd, and it arrived um, in in England on the, on the 23rd, the same. It departed from Stanford La Hope there, and then it arrived at Tamworth it departed Tamworth just a day later on the 24th and it arrived at UPS's facility in Preston just 18 miles away from me on the uh, there were where we arrived at the facility in Preston on the 24th it's then another three days before they send it out for delivery so it seem, seems that when you take your parcel round to UPS, it's three days before they do anything about it. And then once they get it at their facility in the, like I say, just less than 20 miles away from here, it's another three days before they decide to uh, actually post it out. So there it is in uh, close-up. We'll just uh, crop that bit out. Again, from the bottom up. It arrived at Preston at 4.15am on the 24th of August. And then it's out for delivery three days later. Yeah. So the tracking things are updated uh, pretty well. And the latest one was then showing Tuesday, August 27th, between 10 and 12. So it's coming Tuesday between 10 and 12. So I put a big A4 size sheet of paper with big thick black marker to UPS please leave in garden box round the back i was in the garage door was wide open with the light on and it didn't even come around the back i went in sort of like dinner time or whatever to look behind the front door to find this you see he's ticked the middle box redirected to a ups pickup location I mean, it's not even put package left out. There's a facility on, on the note, as you can see. Package left out. And he could have put it, as requested, in garden box. There was no signature required or anything like that. No driver notes, nothing. Just hadn't... Either totally blind or totally ignorant. Just couldn't even be bothered walking around the back and putting it in a box. And like I said, I'd have seen him come around the back anyway. So uh, that was from uh, UPS... So I then had to go on the ups.com track and look up my local shop. And about half an hour later, I went on to find uh, this info. So it had been delivered to the shop and I had to uh, get in the car and go around there. So, uh, yeah, what a palaver with UPS. It, it, I find it really ignorant when people can't even read an instruction. Fair enough if they need a signature. But you could see the garage door was open. It didn't even try coming around the back. Uh, but it didn't need a signature. And I put a designated leaving place. And he, he hadn't even bothered to read that. Just take it back to the shop. So I decided to jump in my car, drive down to the shop. The guy at the shop, very poor English. Struggling to make myself understood. Anyway, finally gets it. So what did they send me? So yeah, we'll, we'll just recap first. So yeah, the service from Lidl, fantastic. From very first contact with them, Tuesday the 13th of August replies within hours from them passing me along to the german agents again replies within a couple of hours 
they authorised a new one, sent it off to UPS. It was three days at UPS in Germany, processing it. Came over to the UK, three days at UPS, 18 miles down the road in Preston, processing it. Then out for delivery. Then the driver not reading the sign, couldn't even be bothered, and we having to pick it up from the shop. So six of those days were UPS's processing time. So pretty poor service by them. I mean, okay, it was a, this coming uh, delivery. It was over a bank holiday. But you know, Amazon do it, Saturdays, Sundays. You can order something from Amazon nearly midnight, and it's there the following day, you know. So, uh, yeah, UPS, not great. Uh, I, I don't think I've used I've never used UPS myself, and I don't think I've had many things from them, but uh, nothing like as good as DPD or, or, or Amazon. So, yeah, to recap, fantastic service from Lidl's. Well recommended that you buy anything from there because they do, as you see, stand by their guarantee. So what did they send me? The new one, you're dying to know, I know. The new one, new style or the old style. Remember, that was the faulty old one. I actually managed to get the clipper thing working. It had just come out of its two things. But, you know, it is faulty. But, yeah, you can see it move, flashes when you move it. And even though it's fully charged, it doesn't come on on the batteries. So, what did they send me? That's a new one I've just done a review on, remember? Check out the tile at the end of this video. Well, they sent me an old one. It was, I was hoping for another brand new, this one with the digital display and the separate cutter. But no, they've sent me this. But it, what it is, brand new. It's brand new in the box. Obviously, new old stock, but it come with a new charger lead. The new type is USB. New little pouch. New instruction book. So everything is brand new about it, and it does it does work as you can see. It's fully charged. I ran it yesterday. I charged it up. It came absolutely flat, surprises me, because normally you should send stuff, um, lithium-ion cells and lithium polymer cells with a bit of charge in them, like a storage charge, but it was absolutely flat. But I charged it up, it seemed to charge in about half an hour, it says one hour, uh, before the, the full battery thing came on, and I ran it for a good three quarters of an hour non-stop, and it was still going. So, and it's still, still showing full charge, so... Uh, so yeah, so I've got a spare one of them now uh, that'll go in a drawer. My old one, I shall sling. I'll probably, or I'll dispose of properly because it's got batteries in it. I'll probably take the uh, top off, keep the shaving head as a spare, although they're probably a bit blunt now. Them, but um, and I've got a spare charger and, and stuff as well. So yeah, I forgot to say you get the new bag with it. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, what it is. So, hopefully, this has been of some use. Like I say, if you do want a review, to see the review on this, the original one, I don't know whether they still sell this or not, or whether it's just on the shelf there. When they sent me that replacement drill I mentioned six years ago, that was nearly three years old, they sent me the old style, a brand spanking new one, but the old style. So they obviously keep a supply of the, the old models. Um, but I'm not sure whether it's it's running in conjunction, it's still available, I don't know. But uh, it's the same as the one I got three years ago anyway. But brand spanking new and uh, didn't even want me to return the old one or anything. So yeah, from Lidl's point of view, fantastic. UPS, not so good. But uh, yeah, well worth buying anything in the part side range or the silver crown or the middle of little or aldi the same they uh, do stand by their three-year warranty so hopefully it has been of some use if you have liked it please give me a thumbs up if you haven't please give me a thumbs down if you haven't already subscribed it'd be fantastic if you could click the little picture here of the shed once you've done that, click the bell icon below and you'll be informed of any new uploads as soon as I do them. Don't know what the next one's going to be. Hopefully it won't be as long as waiting for this because I've 
done the two together so i was waiting for this new shaver to arrive before i could put both these videos up together but uh, i shall uh, see you for the next one <laughs> thanks for watching this one bye for now